All right, so where do I even begin? Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, then you're probably interested in getting Invisalign or you're currently going through Invisalign. This is, I believe, my fourth video. I think the previous one I did was three and a half months update with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing more of the series, I'll leave it all down below. And let's get started with today's update. It's been about five months, five months and a week, I think, because I'm on my 21st tray. I just got them in. I can't remember which tray I was on the last time I saw you guys. It's been a while. So I thought that my treatment was only going to go up to 19 trays because that's what was estimated to me. But then I did another scan with my dentist and the results came back saying that I would need about another, I think it was 15 trays. And I was like, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Another 15 trays. That's crazy. That's almost like as much as the first estimate I ever got. I don't have my trays in right now because I'm actually drinking a little shake. So when he did a scan of my teeth, he enters it into the system and the system just automatically lets him know where to add in the new attachments and how many trays it's going to be. So he was like, we can definitely shorten the amount of time. I'm just going to have to start moving some things around like the attachments. So he moved it down to 10 trays and he told me that if he does just the bottom, then he can narrow it down to five trays. And I was kind of like, well, the top teeth don't really need any fixing. Like there's slight, slight adjustments when he shows it to me on the computer system where they kind of like barely shift in but I guess once the bottom is done the bite would sit a little better so I was like I don't know if I need the top trays I, I'm thinking I just want to get this done with so I was like okay let's do it he's like are you sure you want to do that I'm like well what do you think and he's like well if you're paying this much to fix it and get like the perfect smile why not go all the way and just extend it another five weeks so we're gonna do a total of 10 weeks 10 trays. I hope this isn't confusing. So we did that at the beginning of last week. This week I finally got my trays and my teeth are so sore, especially this one right here. There's an attachment on it right there, right, right over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's pushing, I guess it's pushing it that way to make it a little straighter. I mean, now that I see it like this, I could definitely see that it does need to be shifted a bit. But oh my God, that tooth feels so bruised, especially because, okay, this is another thing. I'm such an idiot. I clench a lot. I don't really grind my teeth all that much, but I clench like crazy. I'm sure if you've seen other videos of me where I'm just even thinking, I'm going like this, which is grinding. But I'm really, really bad at that. So my trays snap. If I'm wearing them for more than a week, they snap. And the reason why I would wear them more than a week, for example, when I went to Mexico, I barely wore my trays. I probably didn't wear them for an accumulated time of two days because I was just eating the whole time. I mean, can you blame me? We're in Mexico, vegan food everywhere. It's gonna happen. Anyways, because I didn't wear them for an accumulated estimated time of two days, I added on another two days. But when I add on more days, in replacement of the days that I didn't wear them, I start to like pierce through my Invisalign. So my top trays had snapped, broken into like three pieces, and I threw them out. So for about a week and a half, I wasn't, actually for about two weeks maybe, I wasn't wearing my top trays at all, just the bottom ones. And I guess my teeth got really used to that. So as soon as I popped in these new ones that I got yesterday, so my 21st tray, my teeth are so damn sore, especially the top. The bottoms are fine, because like I said, I've been wearing them the whole time on the bottom, so they're just used to it. But I was really wondering why the first time around, it was only up to 19 trays, and then my treatment would be done. And then we added on the 20th tray and I thought that that would be done. But the reason why that happens is because when you enter it into that system, think about it, it's just a computer and you're generating these number or the system is generating these numbers and it tells you, okay, if you wear them for 22 hours every single day, that's how long it's gonna be, 19 trays, 19 weeks, if you're switching them out every week like I am. But 22 hours is a really long time to have your trays in. I feel like the first couple weeks I did it and I was really disciplined with it. But a girl's gotta eat and I like to snack and I really don't know what else to say. Like I eat a lot. I've always been like that. I'm just a big snacker at work too. I get bored if I'm not snacking, but I'm just snacking on things every day. So really that's not realistic. Nobody, I don't think anybody, and if you are wearing them 22 hours a day, wow, that's really, really disciplined. I honestly thought I was gonna do great with it, but I'm just, I didn't realize how 
sloppy I guess I am or maybe it's just not realistic so if you are going into your first appointment getting your Invisalign scan just to see how long it's gonna be estimate a little bit more time just because 22 hours a day wearing those things and just having them off for two hours it's not realistic so yeah if you go in and get that scan and the machine tells you that you're gonna have 19 trays add in another five to six weeks because it's really not that realistic I mean to have them in your mouth for 22 hours every single day so yeah I thought that that was really important to tell you guys like don't beat yourself up for it either I really thought that my Invisalign was going to be done by at least mid-February the latest <sighs> we'll see how long this goes so if I'm estimated to have nine more trays after the ones that I have right now um, it's probably gonna not be nine weeks it's probably gonna be about 10 11 for being honest which is who knows maybe mid April end of April beginning of May around there so at least I won't have them for the summertime I'll look forward to that and I have gotten a lot of questions like hey what happened to your next update like is it over is it all done with this video should have been like Ta -da! all done but no we still got another 10 freaking weeks to go 80s 180s I really hope that this doesn't push you away from getting Invisalign I do think that it's a great thing to do to perfect your smile if that's something that you want to do it's definitely a lot cheaper than braces and I've liked the whole shifting of my teeth like my teeth are looking great already it's just it takes a lot longer than what you expect it's kind of a pain in the butt especially when you're a big eater like I am but it's really worth it. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I've enjoyed the whole process because it's a little annoying, but it's a, it's a great thing to do for your teeth. So if you guys do have any further questions or if this video is like all over the place and you don't understand something, just comment down below. Let me know. I get back to every single one of the comments. And this time around, hopefully the next video that I make is the grand finale. Before you go though, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right over here, and I'll see you guys at the next one.